Hey gang, welcome to the studio. Diana here today. Thanks for stopping by. I turned on the camera while I was swatching out a set of metallic gelatos. And you can, I think you can see how shimmery these are. They're really pretty. And after I um, swatched them, I started to mix some gelato colors together. And then I thought, I want to do it on black and let's bring you along for the ride here. So that was silver going down and I'm just rubbing it in. I did try on the white sheet. I do want to tell you, uh, first of all, when you're swatching colors, use your good paper. You want to see how these materials will behave on the paper you're going to use them on. And I'm just trying to make sure that I've got them in the same order and it's so cool to see the difference in these colors between black and white and any kind of pearl metallic um, you really want to try it on both black and white and colored cardstock cardstock so this kind of cardstock is this it might be basil black uh, that's a nice black cardstock and I'm you know Usually that Uniball Signa works great. Look at that shimmer. Oh my gosh, that pink and that mint is fabulous. So I've been just rubbing these in with my fingers, but feel free to use a cosmetic wedge or the dense foam that comes packed in to the gelatos kits. They're, they're really, that foam is perfect. You just have to clean it. The colors are fab. And you know, I do this with every material I get. Uh, this is my first sort of play with the material, see what kind of color it really is, see what, how it goes down, how it feels, how it blends into the paper. Um, I know you're not actually making something and I know it's really hard to um, sort of come to terms with doing something like this but it's included under my definition of, of playing. Uh, this kind of thing is just fun and relaxing and then you start mixing colors or at least I do. Uh, that one, that color, that iced current, I was like, oh, I'm not crazy about that color. And then I tried mixing it together and I fell in love with it. And th that's, um, look how different that iced rose is. That's between the white paper. This color is incredible. That, I think that's, I think that might be a lime. I'm, I might be getting them confused with the brights. That's a beautiful set as well. Iced pear. Iced pear. Oh gosh. And it looks much less green on the black paper. And I'm going to mix those two together. The I think that's melon and champagne. And you can see I'm just putting some of the materials down and I am labeling what I'm doing. Sometimes I forget to label things. <laughs> so you do want to try to remember that. Now I'm sweeping down and then sweeping up so I can see what kind of a sort of an ombre mix I get with that. God, look at that sheen. I'm falling more in love with these gelatos. Um, I've always enjoyed working with them. Uh, they have the same sort of consistency as a nice oil pastel. Uh, and they are, of course, um, water soluble, which is an automatic cell to me. But just to use them like that really reminds me of oil pastels more so than any other kind of media uh, uh, of the uh, water soluble oil medias I've used. So I'm not sure what they're made of, but one thing I do know about all these Faber Castell products is that they are 
pigment. They're light fast, fade resistant, and that makes them really great in my book because I can sell an original piece of artwork made with this uh, gelatos or pit pens. So here we go. Am I going to that was the I think that was the iced chai. Oh, and that's that um, iced currant again. And be sure your fingers are clean when you're doing this because you don't want to pick up other colors. But look how beautiful. That is so pretty. I was like dying. I was getting all excited when I saw that color coming up. And those two, I'm going to mix the um, blueberry and the mint. I want to stay away from that grape because I thought it might give me some mud. Um, oh man, these colors. It's making my mouth water. So yeah, I um, I have another video I recorded. It was just too much to put into this video. That, now this is a cosmetic wedge and I'm just smudging it a little to blur it which I think is a really great look. Just that slight blurring. I'm going to link below to a pod, I mean, I'm sorry, a blog post on uh, Faber-Castell's blog um, where the designer did a really cool thing. I'll, I'll leave it. It's blurring it. Uh, it gave me some great ideas. So uh, I'll link that below. And I will link the this set of gelatos uh, below and over on my blog and um, I think that's the icing which is like white and there's that current again I just sort of fell in love with the current uh, this is what happens when you play with your your stuff and I again I really love making swatch charts for everything um, Mm, which one should I mix together? Oh yeah, that was that's a really pretty color and highly mixable. So that'll be it for today. Stop. Make sure you subscribe if you like what you see and don't want to miss any more videos from me. And um, it helps me a lot if you hit that like button as well. So um, while you're down there leaving me a comment, leave me comments. You just hit that like button and um, I'll be back real soon with more videos. In the meantime, thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Bye gang!